Now countries, how can I speak to nations of the world as a prophet? Countries and nations, the Lord says, that will pray and respect the power of the church and men of God and their prayers. They shall come out of COVID-19 faster than others. Ah, let's clap hands for that. They will come up. But presidents who are banning church gatherings together with bills and nightclubs at the same time are lacking revelation. Listen to me, kings of the earth. Presidents, that is a big spiritual error that you are making. God said, I will confuse all those countries that are doing that and the cases of COVID will continue increasing because they are equating my house, the church of God with beer house. They are saying the church of God is not an essential service yet COVID is spiritual and it needs the church. It needs the prayers of the saints. Government must close beer halls and nightclubs and allow churches to meet with the social distance, wearing face masks and sanitization. Hear me, presidents of the world. Allow churches to gather if you want COVID cases to go down. If there are churches that have got big space, and big crowds allow them to use those big venues and space their people. And you will see COVID cases coming down as they pray because I know you think you are educated. I know you have got advice from health practitioners. I know you can argue but watch this space. Continue burning churches with nightclubs. And we will see if we will come out soon out of this COVID. If you are arguing, I give you up to March and April. Continue burning churches. All nations that are going to allow churches are going to come to worship, are going to come out faster than those that are equating bills and churches together. You, you governments, you need the church of God now than ever before. You cannot fight this thing without men of God, without prayer of the servants of God. Without the prayers of the church of God. COVID will confuse you, it will ravish you because it's a strong diabolic disease. I rebuke you as a prophet of God in honor of your offices. But it's high time for you to change presidents in Africa and in the world and understand spiritual things. You must get a revelation. And you, you are equating a church to a bear. And you say, we burn churches and we burn bears. People from gathering. You think the church of God is like a bear. You would rather burn people going to bear hall than burning people from worshiping God in such a crucial time. And you politicians in Zimbabwe, you MPs in the nation of Zimbabwe, these are things that you need to go within the parliament, not debating funny stuff that you are debating. It's time for you to fight for the church of God to be opened. It's time for you to fight for the house of God to be allowed to worship. I challenge politicians in Africa who are in parliament, wake up, have revelation. This is a demonic disease and it needs our prayers. But when you continue burning the men of God, burning churches, arresting churches, putting them in, in, in cells because they are trying to pray for you, how are we going to come out? How are we going to come out of COVID? It needs the church of God to pray. Burn all other things but not worship. Burn all other things but not church. Receive revelation.
The problem is that most of our politicians in the world are heathens. That is the problem because we are being ruled by people who don't understand the spiritual things. And their decisions are delaying us. You are delaying us by burning the church. When we think we are now praying for you, you burn us. And how are you going to come out? How are you going to come out? How are you going to come out? How are we going to come out if you keep on burning churches and you equate the church of God, you governments and politicians like beer holes? We are not at the same level with beer holes. The church of God is not at the same level with a nightclub. We are not a club people. We are prayer people. We are crossover children. We are crossover saints of God. We are the, the church is going to make Africa and the world and all nations to cross over the, the COVID-19 situation. All countries that are going to listen all politicians and presidents to this instruction from heaven and allow the church and even ask the church to pray the demon of COVID will start to decrease to go down and to run away from their nations and their countries will be soon out of this problem in other nations you see them first of all they close churches for a long time and after some time they continue closing churches and then they open nightclubs. And yet this is a spiritual thing. There is no person in a nightclub who can conquer this situation. Who can help you? It needs serious prayers. It needs serious prayers. It needs serious prayers. But I know there are hiddens out there who don't have revelations and they will criticize what I'm talking about. But let's watch the space. Countries that are going to allow churches and there will be prayers all around. You are going to see that the COVID cases will just die a natural death and it will just disappear. But if you continue burning churches, making Christians to stay at home, on Sunday, a day they are supposed to gather to pray for you. You are going to be overwhelmed by this disease. It is going to crush your economies. It's going to destroy your nations. And you will not be able to resurrect and resuscitate your economies. Because God has anointed his church to deal with this disease. Can we clap our hands unto the Lord? So presidents and politicians and the police the police in the nations where there is COVID stop arresting church people that are gathering for worship. It's better to check if there is social distancing and they are following the restrictions and the rules. Because if you do that, you are making a big mistake. All nations and the police that are arresting people because they are worshipping God and praying against COVID are actually arresting themselves into this situation. You are, now, you are putting yourselves into serious captivity. And we will be in this issue for a very, very long time. Politicians hear me. You must have, have, you must have revelation. You must have understanding of what COVID is. Because otherwise, humans will perish. That's why all people suffering from COVID can tell you, Joshua. They can tell you when this demon is out of their bodies or when it's still there. 
and it can be cast out without medicine by people of high faith in the spirit and sometimes with medication plus prayers. I have seen cases of COVID going without medication and there are some which need medication plus prayers and they go. It's very possible. I have seen it to pray for a person with COVID and it goes out of their body immediately after you pray for them and they are okay. We have prayed for many people in Zimbabwe, in Bulawayo, all over the world. And when you are treated also with the prayers being offered, you recover faster. So until prayers and the churches are respected, the churches of God, and are treated as essential spiritual services, because this is an essential service, you will see them giving a statement that uh, mining must continue. Farming must continue. Uh, that is legal. And they come. Churches, be ours, banned. So uh, now churches at the level of be ours. Lack of revelation. Being a politician does not mean you now know the word of God or you now know God, or you now know spiritual things. Because some, some politicians, they want to take the Bible by the, its horns. They want to control everything, including, including, including spiritual things. They don't know their position. And they don't listen to the voice of the servants of God. That's why we are always having delays after delays. So let's get this right, that it's a spiritual demon. COVID is a demon. And it needs the church to pray for people. And so I speak to countries. I speak to nations as a prophet. I speak to presidents of the world, to politicians, to the police, to the armed forces, that you are making a mistake. The Holy Spirit is rebuking you because you are delaying your nations by lack of revelation, by lack of knowledge. We will listen to you. We will obey you because you are the ones in authority. But we know we are not going to come out of this very soon with the way you are seeing things. We will be in this thing for quite some time because you are lacking revelation. You are the ones on top. And what can we do? We have to honor you. We have to honor you, but it doesn't mean that we have no solutions and we can't pray for this thing. So it will take a very long time for countries to recover from COVID-19 infections because of this complication of not understanding what COVID is in the spirit. So God is not happy with the presidents of certain nations and the politicians who are putting the church at the same level with beer holes. The Lord is saying it shall take you time to come out of COVID-19 until you realize the need of the church's prayers and its importance in praying for you to find solutions on how to come out of this thing and the power of the prayers that are needed. It's only depending on your levels of understanding in the spirit. A level of understanding the power of prayer. So if you still despise servants of God that God gave you in your nations, and you still despise churches that God raised for your salvation, you will take time to come out of this COVID situation. And the conditions of your nations will deteriorate. The, your economies will go down. So now listen, listen now. God says, how, what? It depends. The going away of COVID, listen. It depends on how hot the spiritual temperature of church prayers in that nation is. If it's hot and there are powerful prayers being offered, COVID will run away from that particular nation very fast. If the church in that nation is being banned, is being locked down, 
and he's being persecuted for praying for this thing of COVID to go away, then those nations shall struggle to come out of COVID. People shall die, including some of their ministers, including some of their politicians, and some of their presidents will perish. And there will be confusion in the governments. Because COVID-19 is very deep spiritually. It's a deep spiritual disease. So lockdowns alone, healthy measures alone, with weak prayers, with the churches locked down, banned from gathering, they would delay these governments from dealing with COVID. So don't just lock down everything. They must have faith. You doctors, you must have faith. You nurses, you must have faith. You politicians, you must have faith. You presidents, you must have faith with your people. And understand spiritual things. Open churches. Ask for prayers. Ask for big churches with space to pray. And soon we shall be out of COVID-19 situation. In Jesus' mighty name. Can we clap our hands unto the Lord? The Holy Spirit is not happy with certain nations that are locking churches down. With certain politicians and presidents that are locking the church down. Now if the Holy Spirit is not happy, there will be big delays. Politicians, I speak to Africa, I speak to the world from this pulpit that hear the voice of the Lord and stop equating churches together with beers. We are not party people. We are not beer people. We are prayerful people. And Jesus is saying, respect that institution and you will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we clap hands for the transmission of the prophetic word unto the world? Hope they will listen. Hope they will believe. And we will not be delayed again and again. Because we now want to come out we now want to come out. I'm speaking to all politicians that are watching me in Africa and in the rest of the world that if they are Christian politicians who are understanding what we are saying, begin to push and advocate for this in your parliaments. And we will see ourselves out of COVID very soon. Because otherwise, we will wear these masks until December and we can even go up to as early as 2022, not out because of this attitude of lack of revelation. So let's pray for them. Let's pray for politicians in Africa, for the presidents. Can you stand on your feet? We want to pray for them right now, that God may open their eyes. Let's begin to pray. Let's pray for the police. Let's pray for our armed forces that they understand this revelation. Can we begin to pray right now? Father, we are praying. As a church, we are praying, O oh Lord, that they may understand what's happening in the world. Let them understand the spiritual implications of wrong decisions, of lack of wisdom, of lack of understanding in the mighty name of Jesus.